Hello and welcome back to Vox Terra. Today, Herschel Walker versus Raphael Warnock in the Georgia Senate runoff. Now, even if you watch this here show after the runoff election, I still want you to glean from it the bigger picture issues. So for that purpose, I mean purpose, I'm going to share with you rankings from two important groups and Citizens United, which is an organization dedicated to limiting the influence of money in politics, named after that what should be an infamous and famous Supreme Court decision decided by a so-called conservative majority that opened the floodgates to money and dark money in politics. And also the League of Conservation Voters. Let's start with Herschel Walker. From N Citizens United, they put Herschel Walker in their top 20 most corrupt politicians for 2022, calling him a habitual liar, citing examples of him making 331000 annually as spokesman for Patriot Support, a for-profit veterans health care company, that the Justice Department says deliberately misdiagnosed veterans to hospitalize them for profit. Pushed a snake oil COVID cure. I love that term, snake oil. As part of a long history of touting snake oil scams. And he lied about his companies given to charity. He attempted to break federal law by hiding the sources of $3.2 million in income from voters. All right, now let's jump to the League of Conservation Voters. Herschel Walker is a member of their Dirty Dozen. They call him a serial liar whose campaign has been dominated by scandals, from lying about his education to claiming to own companies that don't exist. Quote, when he's not making nonsensical, incoherent statements about climate change, he's offering a forceful defense of the failed energy policies of the past, including support for the dangerous Keystone XL pipeline. Now, what I think is really the smoking gun in their statement, Walker's campaign is heavily funded by the oil and gas industry, raking in more than $140,000 in donations from big oil and other energy interests. In the short time, he's been a candidate. Now let us contrast Herschel Walker with Raphael Warnock. Here, the End Citizens United gives Warnock a score of an A for his votes in support of limiting access to money in politics and expanding voter access. The League of Conservation Voters gives Raphael Warnock a 100% score for his short time in the Senate. Remember, he's only been there from 2021. Now, whether you identify as conservative or not, and I hope I've got viewers who do identify as conservative, otherwise, what, you're just preaching to one side, I believe that money in politics, and that is what is manifesting this destruction of our environment, is the critical issue. This resides in objective reality, how we're affecting our human health by pumping this biosphere full of all these greenhouse gases and carcinogens. So however you as a conservative or I, whatever my political leanings may be, feel about some of these culture war issues, we're distressed by some of it. You know what? The environment and money and politics, I think, takes priority right now. Well, I hope you found this video contrasting Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker informative and helpful, regardless if the runoff election already passed or not. And as always, until next time, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. You click the notification bell. You're liking, you're commenting, you're donating a Patreon. Thank you to my two donors. This show takes a lot of work and a lot of time. It comes at a real opportunity cost. And as always, until next time, peace be with you.